What is the state of American business right now? Well, first of all, thanks for having me. Good morning. And the state of American business is strong. It's agile. It's innovative. It's competitive. I'm optimistic about the ability for business to step forward and solve problems and serve consumers. And uh, we're going to be calling on the speech today for some things we think the government can do to be good partners in that work. Has the government been a good partner to this point? It's been a pretty rough couple of years just overall trying to deal with COVID and we're not seeing any signs of that abating. Numbers are reaching record levels right now. It's a tough time, isn't it? And I think we're just all so ready to get to the other side, whether you're a family or a, or a business or you and me. It's just it's just time. But I would say the government in some ways has been a good partner. We were uh, excited to see the historic infrastructure bill pass. It's kind of not just on its merits, but also as proof that we can get things done together as a country. Uh, but we worry that we're a little bit on a precipice of uh, some people who think the government needs a heavier hand, more taxation, more regulation. And, and yet there are things that only government could be doing, a more robust trade agenda, addressing the worker shortage, addressing the supply chain bottlenecks, and making sure that, that overreach and too heavy of a hand doesn't add to the inflation concerns. Suzanne, there will be some people who look at that and say, wait a second, the um, you know, businesses got what they wanted just in terms of additional infrastructure spending, and, and now they don't want to pay for it on the other side. What, what do you say to elected officials who will make exactly that argument? Well, I'm not sure what you mean by pay for it on the other side, but I would say if, if what you're talking about is this reconciliation bill and the kind of the next phase of government spending, I think what we would say is infrastructure has a real ROI, right? It's roads, it's bridges, it's broadband, it's clean water. It has a real ROI for working families, for communities across the country. What we haven't seen in this reconciliation bill is what are the needles in that haystack? There might be some things in there, say childcare, that could be helpful to America. American families and businesses. But we need to take it apart and go through a bipartisan process that would allow us to figure out what's in that haystack and not just add a whole bunch of taxes and, and a big expanse of government at exactly the wrong time and what's really a fragile economic recovery. The Chamber of Commerce has uh, been bipartisan at times and has really supported candidates from both sides of the aisle, but you don't see a lot of bipartisanship in Washington these, in Washington these days. Does that concern you? It's such a good question, and one of the things I'm going to talk about in the speech today is exactly that, which is, look, America does have enemies, but they're not inside our borders. And if we're going to win the future, win the competition for the future, we've got to come together as Americans. We can debate, we can discuss, we can engage on ideas, but then we have to come together as Americans and do what's right for our workers and, and for our families. And I think there are lawmakers and policymakers out there who want to do that. And the American business community wants to support those really brave men and women who come together, they fight for what their district wants, but they also are willing to compromise, to come up with durable policy that moves our country and our economy forward.